Alright, welcome back guys to part 8 of making this uh, assault rifle from uh, from uh, Wolfenstein New Order and I'm going to work on this little handle here but I need to make some space on it because it's going to go like here um, and then this, this area can go behind it I think so what I need to do is I'm actually going to hide all of this stuff here hide it, hide it and hide it and hide these two as well. Actually, I can leave those there. And then I'm going to kind of push this back a little bit. Or try to push it back. So I'm going to face mode. I'm going to select this face, this face, and this face. And I'm going to actually just this face. Push that back. Like so. And then I can try and figure out what I'll do with that edge later. But I'll leave it like that for now and then I can unhide these like so I can then grab this 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 and this press G and just move them back like that and that should create enough space for me to create this little handle here and then I'm also going to grab this piece here and this, I'm going to press Q, Q, bullying that together. And then I'll grab this face and push it in just until it covers that area. Maybe a tiny bit back. Like so. That's looking, that looks good. Alright, so next, this part here, uh, what I'll do is I'll create this little shape separately and then I'll, I'll uh, slot it in after. So I'm going to go to the front here, I'm going to create a uh, center rectangle here, like so. Right click to confirm that, I'm going to move that up, so I'm going to I'm going to go into face mode, click on this, and just move that forward, like so. And then I'll go into the, my side view, and I'm going to go to my free point arc. It's probably the tool I've been using the most, it's really cool. Uh, I'll create this sort of thing here. Right click to confirm that. And can move it in there. Alt X because I want to mirror it over to the other side. Like so. Then I can close them both. So I'll go into edge mode, click on that and then that. And that should close that one. Or maybe it let me actually move this up for now. So G move it up going to delete this one and I can click these two and press L which will loft them then I can click this one and this one and press L which will loft that and I can say here G0 G0 which will keep that straight right click and then I can select these two and say close hole patch hole Hmm, that doesn't didn't work. Uh, maybe I'll just delete these curves now that I don't need them. Maybe I selected the curve. Patch hole. No. I love that actually. G zero G zero. And then this one and this one and loft. G zero G zero. Then I'll select all of these sheets and press J, which will join them and make a solid. So now that we got this solid, I can press S to scale it and scale it like so. And put, place it in that. And then object mode, select this one, and this one, Q, Q, right click. And then I get that shape. 
which I can now bring over here and place it to where I need it, which will be in in here, like so. I'm going to go into edge mode, select these two edges and give them a bevel like that and then I'll select this face and just pull that out until it kind of overlaps that then edge mode select these edges and just give them a small fillet like that maybe that looks alright alright so for the handle itself what I can do is I'll go into my um, I'll go into my top view so I'll look at it from the top will it always rotate to that? it will that's fine alright so I'm gonna create a corner a center rectangle oops center rectangle and I'll do it here and I'll create like something like this and I'll uh, go into my my uh, point mode control point mode select these two press B and pull like so and then I'll create another center rectangle from the middle here something like that right click to confirm that then I'll use my trim tool to just trim out these edges oh, I'll leave me with this then I can select these two corner modes and press this these actually these four and press B or those two that'll be fine something like that and I'll, that'll be roughly it for now. And then I press my face mode and then I can pull that up. Like so. About there. Right click. Press S. I'm just going to scale that down a touch. I'm going to select the top face here. I'm going to press O. Uh, o. And I'm just going to offset it a little bit. Like that. And then right click, select this face and pull it up. Then I can select all of these edges. like so and just give them a little fillet like that or fill it and then the bottom ones here actually I'll leave the bottom ones as they are I'll delete these curves and then select these bottom ones like so and give it quite a big fillet now I can grab this and just maybe offset it or maybe not let me just grab it and pull it down a little bit or extrude it down just a touch something like that that creates quite an interesting shape all right so next i have to do these little arches at the top and that should be it so let me go to my side view here you do kind of have to work in for graphic quite a lot um otherwise the especially when you're working with the curves because then they kind of seem to not work too well if you're not in or for graphic. I'm going to click here and then I'm going to click 
here and then I'm gonna pull that up like that right click I'm gonna move that over I'm gonna go use my line tool and click on beginning curve and then curve end right click and I'll create that shape and then face pull that out and try and eyeball this a little bit I can go into my side view just to kind of confirm I need to go over a little bit and then I'm gonna extrude and pull that out a little bit then I'm gonna get my corner rectangle I'm gonna start from here and I'm gonna go to here right click go to face mode select that face uh, so I'm actually gonna select this press G move it over here face mode select that face pull it through and I can go and select this and this press QQ to boolean it together and then this and this and press Q and then right click to remove that and then I can delete these curves and that looks pretty good and now I can position this so I'll go into my front view and just make sure that that is lined up roughly yeah and then I can pull this down I'll go into my side view and I can just position this I'm actually going to press R and rotate it backwards a little bit, G, and position it something like that. And I can rotate it out of here. And I'm going to go into face mode, select this face and this face, and pull those out. Right click, select this face and this face, and pull them out like so. Right click. And then this one, just to make it a little bit bigger, like so. I want to make it taller, but I can't really do that, so I'm actually going to make this one smaller. Like so. Let me just check if that's one object. It is. Then I'll check, grab this, and just pull it up until it slots in there like that and then lastly I can create a center circle here like that right click go into face mode select that pull that forward over to the other side G move it back and that will be like a pivot for this Like so, I'm gonna grab, go into object mode, grab this and this, and just move them down. Oh, G, move them down, and then to the side, a touch. Right click to confirm that. Let me get rid of that curve. And then I can just simply and press S. Actually, you can scale it down a little bit because it's a bit too big. Uh, I can select this, these two faces, offset them, so press O to offset. Like so. Right click and select this one and this one and just pull them in. Like so. And then edge mode, just going to grab this edge and this edge and do something maybe like that also grab this edge and this edge and do something like that cool so that's the handle finished uh, well we have a few more details to kind of put in but it's mostly there can actually just go into my face mode select that 
and just that's not gonna work if I want it to be a little bit longer I'm gonna have to select the whole body except for that press G move it down press S actually no I'll leave it like that I might rotate it though until it's almost straight actually I'll maybe leave it over here like that and then I'll grab this and I'll just uh, grab all of these edges and I should be able to simply pull it over I think no Let me select this and hide this for now. Edge mode, if I select all of these edges, can I move it over? I'm going to grab that and hide that. Oh, I can. There we go. Like that. Then I'll unhide these two. Select this one, or actually this one. G, move that in. Oh, cancel. And what happened there? G, move that in. Right click and confirm that. G on this one. Move that in and up. And right click to confirm that. Cool. That's looking good. And then some extra details I can put in. So I'm going to create an, a line that goes from here to the middle one here. Right click and confirm that. And then I'm going to create a center circle that goes here. Like that. Right click. I'm going to grab that circle and I'm just going to extrude it. Oh, grab extrude it out a tiny bit like so and then if I type in array do something like that then I can go in object mode and delete these then I can delete those two curves select these Press G, move them in. A little bit more than that. Like that. Alt X to go to mirror it over. Right click to confirm that. So they mirrored, but this isn't centered exactly. So actually, I can just grab this one, G, and move it a tiny bit to the left. Actually, no, I'll just leave it. I'll grab these and move them out. Again, at the end, I'm just going to cut everything in half and mirror it over. So it should hopefully all work out like that. And press this, press Q, select all of these. Right click. That's looking cool. And then we have this final piece to make. Um, and I can also kind of maybe bevel this. Nice. And then the last part here, which looks like this. Looks like it may be a bit of a complicated piece to make. But we can tackle it. So I'm going to go in with my corner rectangle and just draw it all the way 
right down to here. Right click, confirm that, go into face mode, click it, pull it out. Right click to confirm that. And then I'll go into object mode, select this and hide it. And this and hide that go into my side view and I'm going to cut that part out so go l line from here it's actually quite small isn't it something like that select this press C then select these two right click it's going to cut them, delete that, and then I can delete these curves as well. And let me unhide these. Delete that one. Go back into my side view. Draw a line from... edge end here to about here and then down right click object mode select this press C select that to right click to delete this and delete that curve I can also grab this face and push it in I'll also grab this edge and give it a fillet, like so. I'll grab this face here and I'll just push it in. Don't want it to be s too far off the gun there. Looks okay. I'll grab this and I'll press E and push that out to about here. I'll go to front view, or sorry, my side view. Grab a line, draw a line, cut about here. Right click and select this, press C. Select oh, C and select this, right click, confirm that, go back, delete that curve, grab these two faces, extrude them upwards, just a little bit, I can also grab that one, just pull it out a little bit more, Grab these two QQ to kind of bullion those together. And then this piece I'm gonna have to f think about. I'm actually gonna grab this face here and pull that down till about there. I'll grab this and push that in. And then I can grab this and shift D to duplicate that. Move it to the side a little bit. Go into face selection. Select it to extrude. Select it, extrude it. Till something like that. Maybe a little bit further actually. So I should go all the way here. Still have to do this piece as well. And we need to cut this actually. So we'll do that now actually. So it's going to cut like that and then down. So we're going to draw a line from 
here T maybe that's too high here to here and then straight down to here right click face mode select this press C then select that right click delete that piece go into my curve delete that Select this face and push it up. Then this face and push that back. And then uh, that little piece will hide that little problem there, so that's okay. And then for this part, I can create a spline curve that will start here, and then I'll put a middle here and then I can curve that down like that right click object mode select that press C and then this right click and then I can delete that and delete that curve which will get that top corner and then another spline curve that goes from Actually, before I do that, I'm actually going to grab this face and pull that down to here. Grab this edge, give it a bevel that goes almost all the way there. Like so. And top front view, I'll grab my spline here and do it from here, here, and then bend that down. Right click, grab this point, and I'm just going to move that down till about there. And select this, press C, select that, right click. And then I can delete that part and delete that curve. And we got that sort of shape. Everything needs to kind of be beveled a little bit. do something like that and then this little piece here actually control Z I'll do that after but yeah almost there you're getting it yeah, close enough. Um, I could just grab these faces here. And just pull those up a little bit. See what's that doing there? No, oh, that, that's fine. Yeah, I pulled them up a little bit because they were a bit thin. That looks good. And then I can put in that little piece, this little piece here. I can go in here. Then some extra detail, some bolts. And we're on our way. So I think we should be able to finish it kind of well, the majority of it uh, after in the next episode, maybe two episodes, and then it should be should be finished. But yeah. Thanks guys.